three triad, right? There's skating, surfing, yes. year two. That's, that's all you need, you know? And that's all you need. <laughs> and like it, they may not be mm. that type of person. You can't force them to do mm. something they want to do. So I think just give it a shot. They love it. They love it. If they don't, that's okay. It's yeah. not for everyone. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Youth of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu podcast, otherwise known as Yo BJJ, where we bring a community to empower, to educate, have some fun, you know, I guess, Vegas Latina Castle, all the way uh, from Sunshine Coast, Queensland, thank you so much, Vegas, for coming on today. <laughs> So I'm Vegas. Um, I've been training for about almost eight years now. Um, Dang. Yeah, <laughs> <my blue> belt. <laughs> um, yeah, and we live here on the sunny coast. Quick, fun activity. So first impressions is like what I, I like to call this segment. Okay, so I'll go first. All right, so okay. my first impression of you, of your, you know, quite accomplished and very skilled uh, grappler, uh, jiu-jitsu, and, you know, beautiful and, you know, young and, you know, uh, I think very fashionable. I see the, the pictures that you post, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Cool. Um, I think very humble, very nice, just a genuinely nice person you know <laughs> yeah. just I don't know thank you laid back kind of just oh. nice He's so, <laughs> not many nice people around but mm -hmm. I feel like you're a nice really nice person how did you first get started into training because I find that well especially for ladies out there uh, jiu-jitsu is definitely not the first priority on the list for sports of course like there's the, there's the netball uh, the ball mm -hmm. sports of course I think uh, ladies are quite uh, interested in that because of that social aspect but contact I don't know tends to turn uh, women off uh, so what was that uh, process like joining jiu-jitsu so I think it was about probably eight or nine because I started at nine so I got bullied at school it was really little but I was like really shy and quiet so I was like reserved so anything someone said I'd be like oh my gosh <laughs> so it took me like I was like oh my gosh she just done that and then I told mom and dad and they're like you need to like maybe try a martial art and so I was like okay <laughs> and my uncle did MMA so I was like I want to do MMA like uncle <laughs> yeah. and um they're like oh okay so they found a club it was um in Melbourne called Extreme MMA oh. and um yeah we went to go do MMA and I think they had like a jiu-jitsu class so then mm -hmm. mom and dad were like oh like it's not too like it's not punching but it's still self-defense so I done a bit of MMA and then jiu-jitsu. So my first class doing jiu-jitsu, I was like, I was like really shy. And then the guy was on top of me. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I remember getting in the car and I was just crying. I was like, no, I'm never going back. <laughs> this is too scary. <laughs> and um, anyway, my parents were like, no Vegas it's like it's a game you know you have to mm. try and get them off you and so I went back and then I was like okay it's a game and then after that I just loved it, wow. <laughs> it was, yeah that's it's really that's, cool we know that you're an accomplished grappler I believe that you've competed in nationals kids worlds and you've you know been very dominant in that uh you do outside of the mats um I just study, um, study, surf, train, um, skate. <laughs> that was it. Uh, because of your environment, your family, that has helped you to stay persistent. Because you're still currently training and you haven't quit yet. So uh, no, what... I'd be where I am today if it wasn't for my parents. Because um, yeah, they're just. They're always motivating me to go to training, you know, like even on days I don't feel like going to training. So, yeah, I think they have a big um, part 
of me getting to where I am today. Sorry, because of course, it can be very confronting with, with the, the topic of bullying. Of course, I feel yeah. like well, from statistics and hearing that bullying is very much evident in, in schools and something that should everyone should learn to have a skill yeah. to have to have something in mind just in case yeah. there's that situation you're confronted what are you gonna yeah. do you know, you know yeah it should be definitely because there's heaps of it like in schools and everything and it really gets to some teenagers these days so I think that's like a really good idea because it teaches them discipline as well and it's just I think it's really a really good thing to have I think there's always like you have friends that are like going out somewhere and then you're like oh I want to go but then you like have training mm -hmm. um I've always struggled <laughs> or not struggled but like I've always wanted to do kind of hang out with my friends as well as go to training but it's never like you know come together but I guess that's what you have to do if you want to you know reach your goal and get better you have to sacrifice those um times of spending with your friends and stuff so yeah but I reckon my parents they still have like a big part to do with that because they're like no Vegas you know like come on um yeah. if you want to you know win that championship you gotta keep training and I'm like okay <laughs> yeah, so have you dealt with not being able to do what what the teenagers do normally, you know, like parties, for example. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think every teenager goes to it. And I think that's why some teenagers drop off because it's like, I want to hang out with my friends, you know, I want to do what all the other teenagers are doing. Yeah. Um, I want to do this. I want to go to the mall. I want to like go to the party or like I want to do everything that they're doing. But um, yeah, I've definitely gotten to that point where like, I don't really like, can I just skip training tonight or like do something else? Um, like hang out with my friends and do this. But yeah, I think it gets to every teenager sometimes, but like as long as you know what like you want to achieve and like stuff. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like yeah, sacrificing that time, but it's worth it. So you're going to accomplish your goals. So what yeah. type of what type of goals do you have in mind? That's, yeah, I want to, like, um, probably just get my black belt and go overseas and win the world championships and stuff and, like, the European championships. But, like, yeah, I think I just want to travel, travel and just do big comps. I think that's really nice. <laughs> I think when I was, like, a green belt, there weren't many girls in my division and maybe when there were they weren't like it wasn't really a good challenge for me mm -hmm. so like for me to like grow and you know try and get better and test myself um yeah I just stepped into those divisions it was definitely worth it though mm -hmm. it was like really good fights and like you know it's a good fight when you can't feel your hands or your arms <laughs> 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 like jelly. someone call the ambulance they did yeah. <laughs> put me on a stretch you're like walking onto the podium and your legs are shaking yeah <laughs> and it's it's crazy um you know at such a young age that you're doing that and I think it's very inspiring to see uh with their with the you know you've been training for eight years now I've always been asked this question so I'm going to ask you as well is does it do you ever get nervous because you've been competing so long I don't know some days like it's just a feeling and you're like oh my gosh I'm really nervous but then some days you're just like kind of like <laughs> going with the flow you're like no nah, it's okay like it's just another comp but then some days I'm just like holy moly <laughs> why am I so nervous but um yeah I'm only nervous for like maybe just a little bit like on our way there but then once we get there they kind of just shake away but mm -hmm. Definitely sometimes. I think over the past couple years, they've like died down a bit. So it really help. Um, just mentally. And then once I get there, before I hop on the mat, I just listen to some music and, you know, get in the mindset. <laughs> and yeah, 
give it my best <laughs> experience that you've had and be like wow or someone has said something in your ear and you've just really resonated with it there's something like that you can share um I think oh, not really but I think what I've gotten from it would be I've come out of my shell a bit more like I was like really shy like I didn't like talking to many people but I think jiu-jitsu has helped me with that in confidence I think um yeah confidence and just being able to be more out there I think um yeah uh, I don't think someone's ever like asked me like or like told me something like that but yeah I think confidence and like uh, if you could just share where we can find you where your story uh your socials oh okay um I'm on Instagram I think it's Vegas underscore Latina underscore um in the same on Facebook I think it's like Vegas Latina but yeah guys uh stay tuned for the next one it's gonna be incredible uh and keep smiling keep training hard so here train duro peace guys see you in the next one <laughs> <laughs>